Welcome to another edition of Challenge with the Chamber. My name is Dan Irvin. I'm the Executive Director for the Greater Farmington Area Chamber of Commerce. Today's show, we're going to highlight John B. Cowley and Sons Pub in the heart of downtown Farmington at Farmington and Grand River. Owned by Greg Cowley, managed by his son and daughter-in-law, Amy and Brennan. Let's go in and check them out. Hello, Amy. Hi, Dan. How are you? Thanks for having me Thanks today. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we are excited to, to uh, learn more about the ins and outs about uh, Collies and Sons Pub here today. I'm so glad you made time for us. Yeah, um, absolutely. Well, you, you have a deep, uh, rich history here with your with the family we in, do. in Farmington. Why don't you explain that a little sure. bit? Sure. Well, I'm married into the family. Uh, I married Brendan, who is the youngest son of Greg Cowley. Okay. And he and his brother Mike are actually the owners. And Brendan and I do all the day-to-day -day management um, of the business. Brendan is the executive chef, and I am technically the pastry chef slash banquet coordinator slash whatever I need to be doing at the time. Um, and we also have a great team of friend of the house management, so, and it's a huge family affair. So it's definitely great. third generation, family owned, family run. And been in Farmington the whole time. Yep, Excellent. yep. Started in the 70s. His, my husband's grandparents actually opened this as just a little typical, you know, dark pub. Um, and then about 11 years ago, their three sons knocked it down and built up this beautiful building with the two floors and the patio and yeah, so That's they great. had a vision and That's great. they so ran it's, it's it. very family themed, very family mm -hmm. run. We're glad to have you in the chamber and uh, oh, be a part of the community and you become very active, which we're very happy yeah. about. Uh, what else are you involved with in the community? Well, we have tried to become as involved with Farmington as possible. We go to, well obviously not right now, the. The farmers markets haven't started up yet, you know, as far as what we can get. Um, but we go to the farmers markets and buy local produce um, every week in the spring and summer. Whenever we can, we buy local. Um, we also are involved with the community, like we always host the uh, Miss Farmington pageant afterglow. We host their meetings. Um, this year, we're hosting the chili cook-off, which we're really excited oh, about. So that's going to be upstairs. Uh, like you said, we joined the chamber, so. Uh, we're looking forward to working more with more businesses in the community. Okay. Uh, we should mention too that you do host the Exemplar Club every Wednesday. We do. We host the Optimist Club in the morning for breakfast and then we host the Exemplars every Wednesday. Um, so that's been a long-standing relationship which we're happy to keep going. That's good. It, it just it shows your roots in the community and yeah. how, you, how you work with the community citizens and how you give back. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do what we can. You know, times were tough a couple years ago but um, you know, I feel like with everybody helping each other, it makes it easier. And that's what the chamber is all about, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we're glad to have you a part of that. Thanks. So thank you. Now, yeah. your lunch menu is different than your evening menu. Do you yes, have? Can you explain is. that a little bit? It is. So what we're more focused on for lunch is making it affordable, making it quick, but still keeping our quality and our freshness. Um, that's also been one of our major goals, which we've achieved by now in the last three years, is keeping our menu very fresh. Where a it's between 90 and 95 percent from scratch kitchen, um, so really everything we can make we do. Okay. I think it shows people can tell with the quality of our food. For dinner we have bigger size entrees, so on the dinner menu you'll find things like our whiskey salmon, which is so popular we can't take it off, <laughs> and our steak, our Terrace Major steak, which I'm sure Brendan's going to want to show you. Um, and uh, we have some awesome appetizers. We also have a killer new happy hour menu, which we rolled out. And we also had to do a power hour on Friday and Saturday nights too. Um, so we're really trying to revitalize sure. what we're offering um, and keep people interested and coming back to see what's new. So you have two levels to the restaurant here. And we we're, do. We're in the, uh, the main level and you have an upstairs. Yeah. And, uh, you have two full service bars. We do. And they open all the time. Um, well, we are only open down here for lunch unless we have a banquet going on, which upstairs is having two floors is such a blessing because we can accommodate so many people at once. Um, and then in the summertime, we have the patio, which is another fantastic um, attribute. So they really thought out, you know, the design when they were redoing this place. 
years. Well, we're excited. Um, yeah. Is there, is there anything about the uh, business that we haven't talked about yet? Maybe you want to highlight? I think some people got the impression that we were trying to do away completely with the Irish atmosphere. And what we're really trying to do is more of a fusion of the Irish classics, but with our new revitalization and my husband's and I point of view for fresh, you know, local food sourcing. Um, so we want to give the best of both worlds, the best of the new and the best of the old. And I also want to highlight that we have live music every Friday night and Saturday night. We have a stage upstairs, we have dancing. So we're also looking for, for new acts too to try and revitalize our, our music scene. So that's really important. Um, we also can host every kind of banquet from, we actually have a couple of weddings this year so far, which is really exciting. I love planning those. And we've done everything from funerals to weddings to birthday parties, anniversary parties. Um, so we're super flexible. And that's kind of really what I want to stress most is that we will do whatever it takes, you know, to make our customers happy. We are really flexible. We want to, you know, we want to make everybody's experience that comes in here special and memorable so that they keep coming back. Well, I'm excited to be here and we're excited to do this show, so what's Thanks. next? Well, I would love to take you back to the kitchen. Brennan's uh, going to in the middle of preparing some stuff for you and Excellent. Um, show you some of the highlights of what we do. All right, let's go check it okay. out. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. I'm looking for Brendan. Well, Brendan. Good morning, sir. How Brendan. are you? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Pleasure to see you. Good. Happy to be here. You mind uh, if we come back and come show us back. what you got going on? All right. See what's going on back here. All right, Brendan, thanks for having us back here today. Looks like you got a lot going on. You've got a grill, oven, some stuff going on, the burners. Tell me what you got going on here. Well, uh, I'm one of the only guys in Oakland County that actually has a wood fire grill. So I burn through about two cords a month. Okay. So, which is quite, it's quite so a all bit. The, all so the, all the stuff that's on the grill is done by a wood burning stove. That is stove. correct. Wow, that's that is great. Correct. So it adds a really amazing flavor. You know, it gives a kind of a smokiness to it. I mean, it really kind of enhances everything that we're trying to do. So what do you got going on here? Well, uh, one of my favorite, favorite things that I serve on the menu is called, it's a, it's a Terrace Major Steak. And it's a cut deep in the shoulder of a cow. And it's very unpopular at the moment, so that's why I use it. I always try to expose my guests to something new and interesting all the time. Okay. So uh, it is the second most tender piece of beef on a cow. And it, it has the texture of a filet, but the flavor of a strip steak. Okay. So I love Excellent. these things to death. Absolutely love them, and that's why I love to give them to everybody that I possibly can. So, um, at the same time, I got my beautiful, uh, beautiful burgers rolling on my wood fire grill with a little English cheddar on top, um, and then we got a couple other things working on the other side. So walk me down. What what do we got here? So this is a this is a double convection oven. So this is pretty much where all the magic happens when things aren't on the grill or on the saute side. Eight burner range. So I've got the French plates on the back, and then I've got the regular burners on the front, um, and it's. Everything from soups to sauces to seared meats. I mean, just beautiful things come off of this station. Absolutely love it. Well, thanks for having us. Is there Absolutely. anything else you want to tell anybody about your uh, kitchen here? Well, it's got some very unique things with the wood burning stove and the, the yeah. uh, choice of meat for the steak. And when Amy and I took over, it's really, we're, we're embracing the gastro pub concept. So it's really about taking our fine dining training and applying it to kind of a more acceptable level at least in this area so um, i want to see all of our regulars two to three times a week and i can't do that if i'm charging 45 dollars for a steak sure so it's really about taking all of our our finely tuned skills and really applying it to something that people can enjoy all the time great well so, i look forward to trying that yes, sir thank you very much for having us today brendan thank, thank you. you yep we'll see you Damn. hi amy hey Thanks, you got a lot of good stuff going on in the kitchen there. I know, he's always so busy, but um, we do want you to try something if oh, you got a minute. That would be great. <laughs> I was hoping you would ask me that. <laughs> he looks oh, like good. he's ready. Brendan's ready, all right. I've got on. some silverware for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you want to take a seat? All right, this looks, this looks great, Brendan. Um, this is the uh, steak that the, um, you were talking about on that the wood burning grill. That is correct, that is the Terrace Major. Uh, and it's accompanied with truffle fried Brussels sprouts. So. The only way that I've gotten people to eat uh, Brussels sprouts around here is to deep fry them. And then <laughs> toss them in cheese and truffle oil. I mean, it truly is. I've, got, I've converted more people than not with these things. I mean, they are magic. So, and then along with that, uh, just a little beautiful potato puree and then a, then a balsamic production. Well, I'm excited to try this. Do you mind? Oh, please. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And this is on our dinner menu. 
Is this something everybody can get any day they walk in here? Is this cut of meat? That is correct. Yep. Awesome. So we do change menus once a month. Uh, okay. It's just enough to keep us rotating through new stuff and trying new things and because I got to be having fun as much as you guys got to enjoy eating. So, right. um, so if I'm bored, you guys are going to be bored, which is not what I want. So we try sure. to keep things fresh, try to keep things new. Um, and really, you stay as seasonal as possible. Okay. So. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try the steak here. Go ahead. That is perfect. That is cooked perfect. Wow. Whip. For the um, wood-burning stove on this, this yeah. really, really makes it pop. It's delicious. Yeah. That stove is amazing. Honestly, anything you put on there from salmon, chicken, beef, it just, it's it like transforms it. It's awesome. So it's pretty unique, honestly. It can be a little bit of a beast sometimes to manage, but it makes such a difference with the food, so. Well, thank you guys for having me out today. This was wonderful. We got a nice tour of the restaurant. Uh, these good people, hard workers, family owned, right in the heart of downtown Farmington at Farmington and Grand River. Please come check them out. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Thank you.